Harvey, darling. Morning, mother. I haven't seen you for days, my love. Carrot juice, man. Thank you, Jenkins. What have you been doing? I've been busy with the elections, mother. I hope you've made time for that lovely young lady of yours. Camilla. Camilla. Oh, her. That was nothing serious, you know. Oh, Harvey. Not another disaster. When are you going to settle down and make me your grandmother? You're nuts, ma'am. Thank you, Jenkins. Oh, don't start with that, mother. You know, I have no time for that. Why don't you concentrate on finding a husband for Harriet and leave me to run the family business and become mayor? Ah, oh, Harriet can sort herself out. She's got plenty of suitors. But you, you're so kind and sensitive and caring. Your crackers, ma'am. Four! What a fine, bright morning it is. I've been up since 5.30 and already played for four rounds of golf. Tea, dear? Oh, no thanks, darling. I've got a pocket full. Hmm. Right, son? Everything in order at the office? Haven't made hair and co bankrupt since I retired, eh? No, Bob. Everything is fine. Oh, Harold, I'm just being saying that it's high time Harvey settled down and had a family of his own. Nonsense, Yacinth. You listen to me, son. You don't need commitment at your age. You need a bit of freedom. Look at me and my golf. I may have a lovely wife at home, but I always find time to play around. My advice is play the field. And when you finish that field, hop over the hedge and play the next one. <laughs> Hello, my princess. <laughs> Aren't you having any breakfast, darling? Mommy, you know I'm watching my weight. I'll just have a small cream cake. Any plans for today, dear? <laughs> I'm meeting an agent about a modeling job. Bet she's being all night plucking her whiskers. Don't be silly, Harvey. Whiskers are in this season. Your sweet miss. Oh, thank you, Jenkins. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I am, aren't I? Hop, have you been in my bedroom again playing with my stuff? What do you mean again? I've never been in that hall. I've got far more important things to do besides going in my troll sister's bedroom. Hop, don't speak to your sister like that. Well, she's a troll. Hip, how many times do I have to tell you not to read at the table? Well, I'm sorry, but it's better than listening to the drivel that we have to put up with. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's either you stressing about a pimple on your nose and how you're so much prettier than all your so-called friends or Harvey plotting some million pound deal and kicking some poor person out of their home or a happy... <laughs> happy just sort of floating around, being smelly and not making any sense at all. I'm surprised you have nothing to say about Hop. Well, at least Hop's got some morals and enjoys making people happy. Which is more than can be said for you. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I'm elected mayor. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. And what exactly do you mean by that, young man? Oh, nothing, mom. I suppose... You've been hanging around with those dozy tortoise children again, haven't you? So what if we have self-righteous Toby Tortoise and his family of snails? Hold on, Harvey. Don't you insult those snails like that. They've got their uses, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. You know, he'll never amount to anything, will he? That Toby Tortoise hasn't got any get up and go about him. 
no idea of how to make a success of his life. And have you seen his wife? <laughs> Talk about dowdy. Always wearing that apron. Hasn't she heard of designer dresses and facials? Mind you, it's probably too much for her to shell out. <sighs> Just because they're slow and poor doesn't mean anything. They're a lot nicer than Spike and Spiny Hedgehog. I don't know which one would be worse, having you or stuffy old Mr. Hedgehog as mayor. Well, there won't be any problem after today. I think everyone will decide that I'm the better candidate. That's my boy. Always something up his sleeve. Four. Oh, Harvey, you're not going to do anything illegal, are you, darling? I never do anything illegal, mother. Really? How could you think such a thing? Of course he is. He's always doing dodgy deals. Everyone knows this. Yes, Harvey, we know what you're like. I bet you're going to cheat, aren't you? That's typical, that is. What about me and my modeling career? You'll ruin it. Hey, you guys, like, chill out, man. Oh, shut up, you overgrown student. When are you going to have a job? Hey, man, I'm in harmony with Mother Nature. I'm at one with the earth. And you smell like dung heap. <gasps> dung heaps are cool. Happy. Ew, you're going to have a bath this morning. Jenkins. Fetch him some, some of that nicely smelly stuff for the bath. Uh, certainly. Excuse me, ma'am. It's a quarter past eight. <gasps> Goodness me! Right, everyone? Breakfast is over. Time for school, work, photo shoot, and happy! Uh, you smelly, sir.